This video will demonstrate the process of creating a new presentation with Google Slides, bringing in content, making decisions uh, about that content, and use of themes and layouts that are already existent within this program. Let's begin by signing in. You must sign into an account and we recommend that you use your Dawson account when you do so. The first place you can gain access to slides is here in this waffle link. I call it a waffle because of the way it looks. And here's Google Slides. If you didn't remember that, you could just type drive.google.com. You'll see your existing content and that includes access to slides. If you didn't know that, you could also just type slides.google.com and that will take you to a very similar location with only slides content. So the benefit of coming to slides is that you see only slides presentations and any uploaded PowerPoints. Let's go ahead and press blank for the new presentation. When you first arrive, it will save automatically your untitled presentation. And that name, untitled presentation, is so limited that we're not going to go with it. We're going to go ahead and immediately when you arrive, highlight it and type something new. Then you can start to lay out your slides, type content in, and make decisions. Now you may very quickly uh, decide, wow, this is very plain, and you might want to start using some helper content. And they have some helpers right here um, to work with. The first that I'm going to point you to is Theme. Theme allows you to use one uh, layout style for your entire presentation so that things are consistent from slide to slide. So you can go ahead and select a theme and as you make new slides, which you can do over here with Control M or pressing this button, or a new slide with a specific layout like this, and then a new slide with a second layout like that, um, you can be assured that the font and color choices will be consistent from slide to slide. If you've already got some content that you'd like to use, here's an example. I've got some content that I used to help prepare a winter schedule. Um, you can bring that in using copy and paste. I've taken the liberty of already within slides uh, having pre uh, created a winter presentation with this content or at least the beginnings of it. So when you're bringing content in, you just can copy and paste it uh, on a cross. So you'll see that I've got different elements made on sample slides, each of which appear in the new slide um, options. Um, I'm going to go ahead and choose a theme and apply it to my slides that are already made. And I do recommend that you bring in content first and worry about look and feel second. So let's go ahead and choose one of these. How about this? theme and notice that it applied it to all my slides. So my point here is don't worry about the look and feel of it until after you've got some content in place. If you have different slides in place and you realize that you don't want them in the order that or sequence that you want, you can just drag and um, reorder them here. So um, here is where I got this content from. Um, this is slide one, this is slide two, this is slide three. Let's look at slide three. Notice that I have a lot of content here and as I come to the uh, presentation page I don't have a lot of content here. I've chosen intentionally just to make major bullet points. That's because presentations are not designed to be um, complete um, relation of information but something for your audience to look at while you're speaking to them. In other words, if you give exhaustive information on the screen it will be distracting to them while they're trying to listen to you and read at the same time. So I leave things up in place as a uh, main point summary so that they can see, oh, we're making progress through these different topics that he has listed. Let's go ahead and make a new slide in addition to this one. <clears throat> I'll follow the same theme twice. And let's make a slide now for day two. I will capture some content, copy, and I will come into my presentation. And if I just paste, then the format that I had in my Word document or my 
Google Docs document uh, comes across and that's not what I wanted so I'm going to undo and instead I'm going to come to the edit menu and pa paste and match style that actually is available in the edit menu within here and it's called paste without formatting so in the my browser edit menu it was paste and match style within um, the edit menu here of Google Slides it's paste without formatting meaning match the format of where we're pasting it if I didn't um, want to come to the menu each time I could be using this keystroke combination that's command for Macs control for Windows command shift V I'm gonna use that command shift V alright now that extra word college visits I think I'm gonna remove good and I'll put it down here that looks good I like that subtitle on the previous slide I could have used that here all right now it's time to add the text over here on the right I'm gonna go and look to see what are my major points and it looks like we visited three colleges and went to the hotel so let's go ahead and highlight the first college copy come into my text and I want that bullet list again and I don't see it here so I'm gonna come over here to more and there it is I'll add the bullets and I will this time I'll use the menu paste without formatting and then press return and I can continue until I have my presentation built bit by bit so as you can see it's very helpful to have your content prepared ahead of time when you're working on a presentation the content would be what you're going to be talking about and then the presentation would be major points from within it. The last thing I'm going to talk about in the creation of a presentation is um, not working from a uh, from a blank slide and then adding a theme but working from a template. Now a template is different than a theme in that a theme gives a style that all of your slides will use once they're created. A template is an example presentation that uses a layout and a style that already exists including multiple slides. So it will allow you to have a very polished looking presentation that you can adjust and tweak. Let's go ahead and try the photo album one and we'll make this um, for the, the concept that the slide uh, the slides will be about what we already did we will have taken photos so let's go back and grab the original title and come into our presentation and I'm going to select that content and I'm going to paste without formatting and that looks like it's gonna require a little bit of help and that's fine and we can ad address the other content later but these are where different photos will be uh, placed to demonstrate where we visited on our tour let's go ahead and right click on one of the photos and we can replace the image and I can go choose one so I'm gonna choose an image to to find I happen to have an images folder when you first arrive it will likely be in this uh, format and if you if you want to see which image is which you will have to change your view and this makes a larger uh, view which is focused on the visual and I'm gonna go find any picture that I have from that uh, from our visit and here's one Davidson stock photo <coughs> and there it is now I'll do the same thing with the other two oops replace image choose an image I'm back into the same folder let's choose one from Duke University and as you can see it's just my job to replace each one so again by using a template I have all these slides laid out and notice that they have some text that's designed to be replaced and the style is what we've asked them to prepare for us and then we'll replace with the content we have and I'm sure we can make a very nice presentation of all these uh, all these slides uh, using our own images to replace the ones we find so in short we use Google Slides to create new presentations with uh, which are blank 
Uh, we can bring in content from other documents like this one or we can use it as a an intentional layout choice working from your templates that appear here on the slides homepage slides.google.com